our Fort Belknap Community Economic Development Corporation is working together with our staff to bring sustainable economic opportunities to our reservation, to our communities, to build a future for our children, for the next generation. Fort Belknap today is home to two federally recognized tribes and we have a large contingency of landless Indians or little shell people that live here also. I just welcome everybody here at Fort Belknap. You know, it's a beautiful place. People are friendly, generous. It's a home of the great uh, Ani and Nakota nations. We're a pretty isolated environment. A lot of our families travel 90 miles to Haver, 60 miles to Malta, 90 miles to Lewistown, and that's for the necessities. The area, the whole state of Montana, as a matter of fact, is designated a food desert. Fort Belknap is really a good prime example here on our home country here. They have to go so far just to get a head of lettuce. They have to go 90 mile round trip just to get a head of lettuce, some fresh, you know, lettuce. History is so very important because it has a way of circumventing and coming back to you. And when you speak of the gardens, when you speak of all of these things that we see here today, these were all stories that were told to us by our grandparents as what it used to be, how it used to be when times were tough. I don't know if too much of what they had to go through has really changed from their time to our time. The garden got going and it, it just took off. We have a orchard over there. They put in a new garden plot on the north end the greenhouse is now up. Now they're gonna have their own well. And our store is up, the gas pumps put in. There's a few more things that need to be done and that's gonna be a reality. There's a really good feeling, a sense of satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment our store is here. We have some finishing up that we need to do, but it won't be long before we'll have a, a grand opening. A lot of our people here, not even just in our community, the neighboring communities, the whole reservation, when they see us, they're asking us every day. Everybody's just so happy that the store is nearly a reality. And the fact that we've done it ourselves, the fact that not some big company or a corporation came in here and did it, we, the local enrolled members of the Fort Belknap community here, we did this. This is for the community. This is a cooperative. We all buy into it and we all own it. The ownership belongs to the community, especially to our young people. Being able to grow our own food. That's something that our people don't have to go to town for any longer. And that's gonna be a major, major convenience for our people. The statistics are showing that in the southern end of Fort Belknap, we've gone from historically 87 to 93% unemployed to just recently here in the southern end of the reservation, we're at 50% unemployment. So there's opportunities. There's definitely money that is, is circulating around this area, but we need to find a way to be able to capture that money, keep it local to maybe grow some opportunities for our children. In Nakoda, we say, Dayaya Hino in Wasewakpa. 
Welcome to Lodgepole. Our tourism department is part of our Fort Belknap Community Economic Development Corporation. We have wonderful guided tours under the direction of Ray Gon, our director of tourism. We have tours that will bring you over to Lodgepole where they have a fantastic series of youth rodeos. Our store is here. We also have a tour that will take you through the Mission Canyon. We're the only community and reservation that I know of that has their powwow in the canyon. We have a natural bridge. We have trails recently developed that people can hike. The Mission Canyon is a very beautiful place, one of the best kept secrets in Montana. See the beauty, the splendor, to see our beautiful landscapes, our sunsets, our sunrises. We're rich in our culture, we're rich in our ceremonies, we're rich in everything that you could imagine being Indian. We're rich that way. We have many, many resources that we can develop through our organization and also to develop people and create jobs and lasting economy. We just took off with the dream and carried it far and wide. What about down the road? Not just today, down the road. With that community mindset, that's what it's been. That's what it's all about. Sure, we get to enjoy this today. But our grandkids will get to enjoy it also. Their grandchildren. Our initiatives that we have are for the future, are, are not just for today, but they're long-term and they will sustain our communities.